guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to share with you my review and experience with this book, Cook Once, Eat All Week. This is by Casey Joy Garcia and I tried one of the weeks out. I just wanted to see how it would go. I was really excited about the idea of prepping my food in advance and having three easy meals. And yes, that is three. Eat all week means three meals, which what? <laughs> so that was a little bit discouraging. I'm like, no, if I'm gonna eat all week, I wanna make seven meals. But um, it only made three. It gives you like two bonus meals, but then that means prepping more food and more time and all of that. So I just wanted to share with you my experience. I took a little video clip every night of how it came out and I wanna let you know how my family enjoyed it. Okay, so we picked week number seven in this book and basically these are your three key items it was turkey bat breast cherry tomatoes and potatoes i ended up using chicken breast rather than turkey breast just with thanksgiving and christmas and all of the holiday festivities i just felt like that would just be way too much turkey for me we usually have a turkey on christmas as well so i decided to substitute chicken which was just fine so I spent, I think, about two hours prepping everything, and what they have here is like all of the weekly ingredients that you need, so even though these are your key ingredients, um, that's like the base, the things that are going to be in most of the recipes. There's also other ingredients that you need, and they give you a list here of all the ingredients. So. I went out, I purchased everything that I needed, and I made sure that I had um, stuff in the pantry and, you know, just double checked that I had everything that we needed for these three recipes. I am going to quickly show you guys the inside of the book. So we're going to go over to week seven. Okay, so here's week seven, and the required um, like main items are turkey breast, cherry tomatoes, and potatoes. So this gives you the list of all of the produce that you need, the meat and dairy items that you need, as well as the pantry items that you need for all three meals that you're going to be preparing for. And here are the meal options. So these are the bonus options if you wanted to do five meals. And that is the pan, the pan seared pork chops and the pan seared white fish. I'm not doing either of these because our family really doesn't like or eat fish. And um, my daughter doesn't like pork at all. So we're just gonna stick with the three like I said. So here is prep day, which I'm going to be doing right now. So here are all the instructions. I'm gonna have to preheat the oven and season the turkey. It looks like bake it or the chicken, I should say. And I'm going to be cooking that up, slicing it up. I guess we're going to also be taking care of the potatoes. I'm going to be um, roasting them. And I think we're also going to be roasting these cherry tomatoes. So that is going to be my prep this morning. I also have to make some bacon, mince the garlic, slice up the pepper, so all of the prep work. And in the end, these are the three meals that we're going to end up with. So the first meal is roasted tomato soup and grilled turkey and cheese sandwiches. It looks really good. And then the next meal is going to be a buffalo turkey casserole. And that looks really good too. And then finally, a turkey pizza sheet pan dinner. And I am kind of uh, changing this up because we have a lot of dislikes on this one. Um, we don't like mushrooms. A lot of people in my family don't like the uh, sliced black olives. So I'm going to be taking some of those items out. And that is going to be everything that I'm prepping for this morning. So see how it goes. Okay, so the first thing I needed to do was prep the chicken. I just rubbed it with olive oil, pepper, and salt. And now I'm going to put it in the oven at 375 for about 45 minutes till it's cooked through. So when the turkey's cooked, I need to slice a third of it for the sandwiches. I need to um, cube some of it and then use it for a casserole and for the pizza. I definitely didn't buy enough chicken, <laughs> I'm gonna say. I probably should have had at least two or three more breasts, but um, I'm just gonna split it up accordingly into thirds and hopefully it'll be enough for my family. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I just labeled these containers so I have them ready and I remember what to do with the turkey when it's done cooking. And then the next step is going to be to roast the potatoes. So 
I'm going to also throw those in the oven. I probably could throw them right in with the chicken. How many degrees? 400 degrees? And I'm at 375. I think I could put them in with the chicken. So I'm going to go get those ready now. They actually recommend cooking the cherry tomatoes along with the potato. So I'm just going to put them all in together and we'll see how it goes. I think by the time I prep all this, the chicken might be halfway done anyway. So just going to kind of play it by ear. So I guess I have to cook the potatoes, cook the cherry tomatoes. I'm also going to need to cook the bacon. And then I think I just need to prep these two vegetables. I don't think I need to cook them. And we should be good to go. So I just thought I would update you guys on the prep. I've been in the kitchen for over an hour and I probably still have a good 45 minutes to an hour left by the time everything is done cooking. Um, so what I've done was I'm cooling down the chicken now so I can cut it up accordingly. And I decided I'm go since I didn't get that much chicken, I'm going to use, sorry, there's the timer. I'm gonna use half of it cubed for the casserole and the other half of it cubed for the pizza. And then I prepped, um, I was supposed to just cut up green peppers, but I also included red peppers as well since we're omitting the mushrooms and the olives. So I figured that'll kind of make up for that part of it. I diced up my onion in here. My tomatoes are in here. And then I'm going to use sliced turkey, like deli meat for the grilled cheese sandwiches. I just figured it would be nicer on a sandwich anyway. And since I was a little bit low on the chicken meat, I'm going to substitute the turkey deli slices. So that should work for the grilled cheese sandwiches. I'm waiting for the bacon to cool down so I can chop that up. Instead of chopping up um, fresh garlic, I purchased this already like minced garlic to use, just saving me some time here this morning. And now I'm going to put, you can see I have a ton of dishes too, I gotta do. <laughs> but I'm gonna roast the potatoes. Once that's done, I'm pretty much done with my prep work other than um, you know, putting everything in the appropriate Tupperware containers, which I must say, you have to have enough containers to put all of this stuff aside. Okay, so I am only waiting on the potatoes and I just wanted to show you how I categorized the meal. So like this is for the pizza night, this is for the casserole night. So I'm just kind of putting things uh, together, like clustering them together. And then this is for the grilled cheese tonight with the tomato soup. And then um, just still waiting for the potatoes to cook. And I still have to clean up all of those dishes. So I think we're at least two hours for the prep. And the one thing that is slightly discouraging is it's not like I'm done now. <laughs> like, okay, so I'm gonna make this tonight. So I still have to, you know, put together and cook up this soup, which is probably gonna take I don't know, it says 15 minutes, so hopefully it won't take much longer than that. And, um, you know, then make the grilled cheese sandwiches. So it's not a lot, but I just feel like, it's not like I just put together a bunch of casseroles that I have to pop in the oven later in the week just to heat them up, which is what I prefer to do. I still have to put everything together. So we'll see how that goes as the week goes on. So the first dinner was basically grilled cheese sandwiches and tomato soup. <laughs> So I fell a little bit short with my cherry tomatoes and I didn't make nearly enough soup. So the recipe made one cup, and I'll show you guys here, one like coffee mug of tomato soup. We passed it around the table and we all tried it. It was delicious, but I would probably have to triple this recipe to make enough soup for my family, which is insane. Um, I know I was a little bit short on the tomatoes, but still just the fact that it only made one cup of soup was a little bit crazy. <laughs> So my husband was making fun of me because I literally spent like two, two and a half hours in the kitchen that morning prepping food. I was chopping onions and peppers and uh, making bacon and all of the things that were necessary for preparing this meal. <laughs> and we ended up having burnt grilled cheese sandwiches because I burnt them and one cup of tomato soup. So I ended up pulling out cans of tomato soup to heat up. So the first night really was kind of a bust and very disappointing. So here is what it was supposed to look like <laughs> and not really what it was. Okay, so the next meal was buffalo turkey casserole. 
and this was basically the potatoes hot sauce which i omitted because i really didn't want anything too spicy butter the chicken breast bacon onions parsley and this is another thing that i probably wouldn't do again i had to buy a lot of things for garnishing such as fresh parsley fresh basil and it just didn't make sense to buy that because I literally just sprinkled a little tiny bit on top and then my kids just picked it off and threw it out. So I don't know if I would do that again. I would just get like the basic stuff. And also ranch dressing. This actually was pretty decent. Everyone seemed to like it well enough. And you know, it didn't require too, too much prep time the day of, so that worked out relatively well. And then the next night was turkey pizza pan dinner. Now, the weird thing is, this is basically this, this, and this. <laughs> Pretty much the same thing with the exception of maybe two ingredients. So the turkey pizza, which was chicken pizza for us, was cubed chicken breast, which was in the previous meal, ranch dressing, also in the previous meal, cherry tomatoes, roasted potatoes, all in the meal the night before. Um, the difference was I put mozzarella cheese and pepperoni on this as well. And then I also did some peppers and some onions. And I think that was it. I took out, it called for black olives and mushrooms. My family doesn't like that. So I took that off. So basically we kind of felt like we had grilled cheese sandwiches the first night and then two nights in a row we basically had the same exact meal it felt like to us every one of my family talked about it we all laughed a lot about this cookbook <laughs> because it was kind of disappointing and i'm really sorry to say that and i will try another week i mean i did invest the money in purchasing the book so i am going to give it another try I guess I'll pay more attention to the recipes individually themselves to make sure they're different enough from each other. But I did kind of feel like I was eating leftovers all week. It was kind of weird prepping your food in that manner and then like reheating it and having such similar meals a couple of nights in a row. I really honestly, as much as I wanted to love this, <laughs> was not a fan. I prefer if I'm going to cook in advance to have meals like ready to go, I would like to do like a really big pot of chili and make it enough for three or four meals, serve one one night and then freeze the rest and break it up into a couple of different meals. And I like to do that with spaghetti and meatballs, with chili, with any kind of like a casserole dish. Also, if you did a baked ziti or a lasagna, things like that where you can freeze the whole meal so that the night that you are really busy with kid stuff and running around or getting home from work late, you literally just have to put it in the oven. To me, that is cooking once and eating all week. When you can pull a dish right out of the freezer and put it in the oven, I'm good to go. Like that's the way I like it. So the idea of this, I understand prepping your food and having everything prepped and ready to go is helpful and it certainly is a time saver. It probably cut my time in half, but I had to invest a couple of hours on a Monday morning <laughs> just to chop and prep vegetables and I don't know. I just, I don't know. It wasn't really a huge time saver for me, I guess is what I'm saying. And again, I'll give it another try and I'll let you guys know how I like it. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's everything I have to say about this book. But because I did me mention it to you guys during Vlogtober and I told you I would tell you all about it, I really wanted to just let you know my take on this book. And again, it is Cook Once, Eat All Week, and it is 26 weeks of gluten-free affordable meal prep to preserve your time and sanity. And there are good efforts put behind this book and I understand the whole concept and idea of it and they all seem to be relatively healthy not extremely healthy some of the meals used heavy cream butter bacon <laughs> cheese and that's not really healthy to me but you know you had your vegetables and you had your meat and you had all of the nutrients i think that you need in a meal which is good it was pretty well rounded but i was sadly disappointed so Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed my little <laughs> review of this book. Sorry.
sorry if I disappointed you in what I thought of it. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Let me know if you have ever tried this book or any of these recipes, or if you do the whole planning and preparing your food in advance and cooking things in advance and freezing them and just having quick and easy meals to grab on the go during a super busy week. I would love to know all about it. I am always looking basically for ways to cut corners when it comes to dinner time because I'm not a great cook and I don't enjoy cooking and I'm sorry that that's just the way it's always been for me. I love baking. I love doing Christmas cookies and cakes and all that stuff, but dinner is just always a stress and a challenge for me and I just think that it's the season of my life and the chaos of all of the kid activities that make it less desirable to do. If I had more time, I certainly would enjoy it way more. Thanks for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification up there, and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.